So we are here now in Hershey Park at uh, the first opening night of Dark Nights in 2024. It's actually Friday the 13th of September, so extra spooky. We are in the wheelchair slash scooter lane. Um, and yeah, we just got out of Chocolate World. I also vlogged that. So um, subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Yeah, the line was actually started before we got over here. We got over here like right at like 4.55. Um, it opens at 5. 5 to 10 and then 10 to 11 the haunted houses are open extra um, but after we get in we're gonna go to the accessibility services um, just to see what kind of rides would be a good fit so um, come along now while we do that I also brought my action camera so hopefully I'll be bringing that on some of the rides but it's five o'clock so it's still sunny out right now so we'll see what we get into in a bit this is the accessibility services outside of the park. There are also wheelchair rentals and things like that, but you can also get your pass inside of the park at the guest services section where you can also rent wagons and things like that. And guest services also has other information about programs and whatnot. There's also a height measurement station so you know which rides you can and cannot go on depending on your height. I found the process to be very accessible overall. I just pulled up to this window and I also noticed other services specifically here for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. You scan a QR code and then you fill out a little form online. Like just they'll ask questions like, can you can do you, can you control your body like upper body if you're like jolted and do you have like uh, are you able to grasp like a handlebar and then they ask if you have any like prosthetics things like that because then you know they would probably tell you some rides to avoid um, but then you t get your picture taken um, and then you get this little booklet um, so then you know my picture's right in there um, you get there's a Q QR code on the back. Um, and then so you essentially enter through the exit. For the haunted houses, you can just greet the people up front. But for the rides and all that, you enter through the exit. And then for certain rides, the staff will put like what time you went there. Because for some of the more popular rides, there'll just be like a waiting period in between. Like if you were to want to go again on that ride or another one in the category, it, there's a list of them. Um, right here on this page um, that will require a boarding time um, but other than that their um, process was super easy to get set up the staff was great um, so I really applaud their um, accessibility program I thought it was awesome The beginning of this vlog as we show on the scooter cam is going through the park. It's more scenic and peaceful and the more action packed stuff comes at the end because there's a lot of stores here that are like Lululemon, Vineyard Vine that you'll see other places and Hyperdeck to the left over there is technically in Chocolate Town but that's a virtual reality experience that I've actually seen elsewhere and it's really fun. So right now it's peaceful but it will soon become dark nights. But if you look on this board to the right over here, you can um, order food right on the app and you can also have a map as well. I highly recommend downloading the app. To the left over there, that is a photo op. You'll see it all lit up more later. Um, so they do have some other passes. Um, one of them is this food pass. One of them's a fast pass to get through the line. So I will talk a bit more about the food pass later, but there are other passes that you can look up ahead of time to skip some of the lines. So many more ornaments in here than Chocolate World. So we decided to get a quick bite. This is Nathan's. I'm pretty sure this is like a well-known chain. So they have like 
hot dogs, fast food, that type of stuff. So we decided to split a large fry and I will show you what it looks like. And these fries were great. They really hit the spot. Face paint, Pam? Face paint? Okay. I got, I used to be like super specific. I'd want a patriotic mouse. So I'd want like a nose and whiskers, but red, white, and blue. I don't know why. Lemon drop, Pam? You want a patriotic mouse? Yes, you don't want a lemonade, do you? I don't think it's um, anything, but. Uh. Yes, that was my, that was my look. Yes. I don't know who gave it to me first, but every time I had the opportunity for face paint, I was like, I have a request, can you please do like a mouse, but red, white, and blue. Slushies in there. Don't you like candy apples? No. Okay, never mind, I don't know. I'm getting it all wrong tonight. Okay, great bear, super duper looper, go upside down, I know that. Thank you. Pam, you mind if I back up? Okay, thank you. will let you channel your Reese's spirit. Loading Reese's training seats. Oh, you do the air, that? And the aliens. Factory has been breached. This is not a drill. I repeat, not a drill. No, but that is. I feel like the score jump is a little suspicious, but you be the judge. Reese's transport has come to- Okay, Pam. Really? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Was it asleep at the wheel? Both of us. <laughs> we didn't even plan that. That's so funny. The theater over to the right has different types of shows and during Halloween they actually have a monster ball which features the Hershey Parks characters in it. Yes, that is a Chick-fil-A.
The claw. Do you want to just see what this is all about? Oh, I, I think it just swings around, right? This big red building over here is where they have health services, so this is where you can get some first aid. Streetville over there is geared more towards younger kids, but anyone can go in it, and it's all about trick-or-treating. Yeah. So this sign shows more about the Halloween tasting pass, where you can enjoy five foods and beverages when you have the pass, and here's a few of the options. I drove by quickly, but there are adult beverages offered for sale in here. As we pull up to the Fahrenheit roller coaster, I appreciate how they have test seats outside of the ride, so that way you can test whether you can get in and out easily. Fallout zone is one of the scare zones, but if you went to the right over there, you could avoid it. So there, it is possible to enjoy the whole park during Halloween without going into any of the scare zones. There are detours. And there's a sign in front with some health warnings to let you know what some of the possible experiences are, such as strobe lights and things like that. You're good? Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know who's, someone could step out on us though. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah, oh god. Okay. Oh god, Pam, he's following us. <laughs> one that has um, backwards um, spinning. I'm referring to the laugh track which is to the left. The laugh track is one of a few rides which has all dark rides on Halloween themed nights where all of the lights are off. Oh 
Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. So, do you want to talk about anything, like, any, anything that we want to ah! <laughs> Okay, people have to know there's gonna be swearing here. I can't go, oh god, now I'm so afraid of everyone. Okay, people have to know there's gonna be swearing. I'm trying my best, but that guy, it's that one specific guy. Hi. I don't know. Are you gonna do a quick movement? <laughs> I'm one of the nice. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. I only work with other crazy monsters. Oh, we should do a selfie. Yeah, can we do a selfie? I know. Okay. Yes, let's do a okay. Keep. I'm not letting him win this time. Now I'm going into the entrance for the Carnival Haunted House. With this one, the Carnival, you do have to transfer into a wheelchair. Originally I thought you didn't because on the app it doesn't <laughs> specify. But PM has agreed to push me and um, as of now that seems like a good deed unless it gets really scary and she pushes me into the evil and we're going in now. Ah, it's already scary. Okay, are you okay PM? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why I wanted to do this. Ah! <laughs> oh god, okay. I'm already scared. for you? Uh, scary. <laughs> yes, I concur with that. Um, just the pop-outs were the scariest part for me. Um, what was, did you, do you agree that was the scariest part? Well, it was, plus it was dark. Like, yeah, so dark. super dark. If you um, can't see in the dark well, <laughs> keep that in mind because there are a few places where you could trip, um, you know, and this, yeah, like the guy in front of us, the guy in front of us was super helpful. Yeah, um, yes, because like, I know, because you had to like open these like plastic things to get to get through each doorway. So he always like held him held him for us, and he also like tripped on a bush. He didn't fall. That we also got stuck on. So watch out for the bush, um, the bush. But um, it was interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna do another one tonight. I feel like I got my thrill in, but that was an interesting theme. Oh my God, this guy. Is there more than one of these guys with yeah. the knee pads? No, I don't know. Oh, you got it. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm like so awkward around them. I'm like, hello.
this is another haunted house right here. I think we can take a break from them for now. I keep being afraid they're gonna come up behind me. have to transfer out of a wheelchair to get into this ride but it has a step that separates the seat from the floor so that does help when getting in Yes, we did. We've literally seen like the whole sunset on this thing. I think we just got out at an opportune time. I don't know how many times they're gonna die. I think this is like our fourth or fifth time around. This is my first time on a Ferris wheel, so I don't know how it all works, but I'm slowly finding out. But this has been a very scenic ride. By the time we got off the Ferris wheel, it was truly dark night's time. I'll pause at the menu when we get to this, but this Spring Creek Smokehouse, uh, a lot of people really do love their southern food here. So it's pretty cool that they have this option. There's even ribs and uh, brisket. I don't even know what that is, but they also have sides like grilled vegetables and cornbread. So yeah, it's definitely a nice option. <laughs> Oh, that's like the wooden one all lit up. So it's great how they have signs throughout the park so you know where you're going. And towards the end there is the Aqua Theater. That's open during the day with limited shows, but they have sea lions, which is cool. And here we'll see Twisters, an advertisement for an upcoming ride this summer that's opening. It looks pretty cool. Now we are on our way to the triple towers, which have different levels depending on how intense you would like it, Kisses, Reese's, or Hershey's, and it has the ride seat right out front there. I wanted to go on Kisses because it's the least intense, but unfortunately it was not open that night. And now we are on our way out. You can see some familiar places like Treatville all lit up during the night. Damn, this would be 
a good ride for you after uh, yesterday. That would be great for you. It's literally the same kind of three wheel thing. And now I will show around the main gift shop. There's a few different more specific gift shops for Dark Nights, but this is the main one so you can check out some merch. Oh my god, look at these Crocs. Wow. Oh, they have spirit jerseys. Um, we are on our way home now. I'm doing all my outros for this trip. We also went to Chocolate World, which was, which was amazing. So you can subscribe if you want to check that out. Um, and we also went to Philadelphia. And we did a scooter scoot, scoot coop tour through Amish country. So feel free to check those out if I posted them or subscribe. If not, I didn't realize this, but Hershey Park closes full time after the summer. They're open full time during the summer and maybe like two weeks at Christmas. But other than that, it's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the Friday is at um, like starting at five. So we went to Chocolate World during the day, got there right at five, it's right next door. There was actually a really big line. People were really um, lining up to get in right when it started. So it was still pretty bright out when we got in. Um, so we started on Reese's, I think it's Reese's Cup Fusion, I think is what it's called, and it's like, pretty similar to um, like I could say like a Buzz Lightyear Star Command in like Disney World um, but it was really great and I really uh, liked the setup of the seats because uh, it was easy for me to get in and out like uh, unassisted um, so uh, you do have the transfer to get into that ride um, but um, but yeah we really liked it a lot Pam allegedly won according to the score um, I don't know. You can watch the tape back to see if my shooter gun was working. Um, but yeah, so it was pretty close too. So congrats to Pam, I guess. Then we walked around for a bit. It was so for Hershey Park, I would say, is ideal for people who love intense roller coasters. So there's like at least five that go upside down. Like, so I was like asking the um, accessibility desk um, and they, I was like, so which ones go upside down? And then like, there's not necessarily like a mid-range one. There probably is for like 
um, roller coaster enthusiasts where they're like, oh, this one's more intense than this one. But they're all pretty intense. So it was good we went on a theme night because we did a lot of like people watching and like walking around. And um, but there was also like just a lot to do on the Halloween night, such as just like watch your back <laughs> because like they had the people like coming out and scaring you. Um, so like there were zones you could walk into if you wanted to avoid that. Um, but we braved it. Like there were signs out front like warning you like, you know, and there was ways you could avoid it. Cause I, I did see little kids there um, in, their, in their costumes. So I don't know if they, they braved it, but but yeah, the, 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 all the actors were great. I'm assuming they're actors and they're not like actually zombies, but um, I, I don't know. The one that scared me the most was like a guy who had knee pads on and he'd just run at you and just like slide. I've never seen that before and it's like, I know he was coming and I'd still scream. Like, it was just like, like it was just, I don't know. I, I, I feel like this footage may be obnoxious for some people to watch because it's like, I literally pointed the camera at these people and then scream when they scream at me. It's like, what was I expecting pointing a camera at them? I don't know. Thank you so much to Hershey Park for having us. We had a great time and yeah we loved it so thanks so much for watching so feel free to subscribe if you want to check out any of the other vlogs that i mentioned or anything else um, on my channel so thanks so much for watching